Welcome to Art Starts Explores. I'm Kay, and I work at Art Starts as the gallery coordinator and preparator. I started the Explores program three years ago, and I'm excited to bring a version online that can be enjoyed by families across the province. Every month, we select a new theme to explore through our weekly Saturday workshops and performance series. This month, we're going to explore contrast. This is a really exciting way to end the 2020 year because it's such a big and wide open concept or idea to explore. Another way of saying contrast is opposition or opposites, but also differences, tension, and even complementary partnerships. In art, contrast can be an exploration of different colors, textures, materials, themes, ideas, and so much more. Our online series encourages you to explore visual art making themes with us, with your family and friends, with your classmates, and on your own. There is no one way or right way to explore being creative. But if you've never joined us for Explores Online or in our gallery space before, I want to take a quick moment to tell you about the three rules or guidelines we like to follow. First is respect. We practice respect for ourselves by listening to how we feel, respect for others by listening and sharing, respect for the land by acknowledging the nations and indigenous people who have served and continue to serve as guardians and stewards of the land, and by doing our best to be respectful guests as we learn and play here. Second is no expectations. Try not to plan too much before trying something today. If we get a picture on our heads of how something should turn out, we can be disappointed with ourselves when it doesn't. Try practicing surprise and always ask yourself, I wonder what will happen if I... Third is that nothing is for keeps. In the gallery in Vancouver, we like to say, take nothing away with you except your experience. But since many of you are practicing social distancing and not making in public spaces right now, we challenge you to unmake everything you try today, wherever you are. This means, after you finish trying something, try to disassemble or take it apart so you can use it again for something else. Try not to make any completed thing, and whenever possible, pull from your recycling bin to practice. And if it can still be recycled when you're done, put it back. Trying something new doesn't need to make something for keeps, and that's just what we're practicing today. For today, let's get a white piece of paper. Remember, you can always get something out of the recycling bin or paper that has already got something on it, as long as you've got permission to use that paper. We're not making anything for keeps. And either a black piece of paper or a black or gray mark making tool. If you have another piece of paper or you only have white paper where you're working, that's okay. You could color a scrap of paper in with a black marker or crayon. Earlier, I said that contrast was basically the difference between things. Have you ever heard the term high contrast? For people with low vision or blindness, high contrast is a thing that is important in reading materials or signs or videos that can help them to better understand or view a thing. A good example of high contrast is black and white. On this page, there is no white tint in the black, which means it's not at all gray or has a gray tone. It's all black. And here, there is no black in this white. They are true opposites of each other. When you put them beside each other, what do you notice? What do you see? If you're using a different color of paper, what did you notice when you compared your two pieces of paper? If you layer them or put them beside each other, you can observe how they are in contrast. You can clearly see that they are different. So for words or pictures, if they are done in black on a plain white page, it's easier to see them. 
The same is true if it was a white picture on a black piece of paper, or white curtains in a room that was painted black. This is an example of high contrast. Can you think of a way to take these same objects but make them less different? To have them have less contrast? One way we could try is adding one to the other. Remember how I said that this white didn't have any black in it? Well, what happens if I add a little black to this white page? When I put the black object or word back on top of it, what do you notice? Is it as easy to see or read as before? What could you do to make it have a higher or stronger contrast again? But what if we only had white paper? Can you think of a way that you could create contrast or differences only using one piece of paper? My favorite way to create contrast is through texture. And if you've watched one of our videos with me before, you know I love to crumple and rip paper. Start by ripping your paper in half. Now crumple one of the pieces. What do you notice about the two pieces of paper? Try putting them beside each other or on top of each other so you can compare them. When you've done that, try ripping your crumpled page in half again, but this time keep ripping one of the halves into smaller pieces. Now you can compare the ripped crumpled pieces to the unripped crumpled piece. What about if you stack these pieces on the smooth piece of paper? What else do you notice? Can you think of other ways to use these pieces together and make them even more different from each other? The goal is to try and make each piece something you can obviously identify or see. Nothing should disappear or be easy to ignore. There are lots of ways you can explore contrast, and I've just suggested a few. Be sure to download our activity resource guide this month for additional questions you can ask each other and some words you can use to challenge yourself when you're playing with contrast. And don't forget, when you're all done playing and exploring, try to take things apart and put them away again so that the only things that are left behind are the experiences and pictures in your brain. I hope you enjoyed this month's theme introduction video about contrast. We will be hosting live visual art making sessions on contrast for the next three Saturdays at 11 a.m. where you can make with me wherever you are and ask questions. Be online at facebook.com slash artstarts around 11 in the morning and you'll see our workshop streams go live. Can't make it for 11 a.m.? Don't worry. We save all our workshop videos after as well, so you can check out one of our past workshops anytime and again with friends. There's always something free to explore and play along with on Saturdays at 11 a.m. online with Art Starts in Schools. But you don't have to join us at 11 a.m. You can be creative anytime on your schedule. All families, young learners, guardians, friends, and creative folks of all ages are welcome to join us online whenever they can. I hope to see you online soon.